very good afternoon dear children this is your brasilia teacher and welcome to our circle time of standard first today we are going to learn more about the environment you remember children in our last class we had learned about the resources that everything that we see in our surrounding are called as resources so a resource is something that is ready to be used if or when it is needed we also saw there are two types of resources that is natural resources and man made resources natural resources are those that man cannot make we directly get from the nature for example the tree and the stone the sun man made resources are those resources that man uses the things that he gets from the nature for his utility for example the table he uses the wood that you get from the tree that is the nature we get from the tree and makes furniture he uses the metal metal is a natural resources to make other objects using the metals so today in our class we are going to learn more about this living and non living things so today we are going to learn about the natural resources we can see many things around us like man book dog house trees they all are from the nature so children today we are going to see about the things that are living things and non living things so children living things are the things that have life is called a living thing for example the tree the man and the animal non living things are the things that do not have life is called non living things and we are going to learn them about them like book house and a pen so let's see more about a living thing that we are going to see in this lesson a living things can move can grow a living things need food and water living things can breathe living things can feel living things can reproduce and for non living things they cannot move grow breathe feel and reproduce non living things do not need food and water to live so we are going to see each one example of the living things so living things can move as you can see we human beings can move so animals have their legs to move animals without legs crawl slide and swim by their body you can see over your fox snake and the bird fish swims in the water with the help of the fins and tail as you can see how the fish swims in the water plants cannot move from one place to another but by showing some movements the touch me not plant closes its leaf when we touch it you can see how the leaves are closing so plant shows movement the sunflower also turns towards the sun when the sun is shining so the plant living things can grow a baby can grow to a child or boy and then to a big man so living things can grow we can see a living thing plant from plant it can grow to a big tree a kitten can grow to a cat living things need food and water we human beings depend upon animals and plants for their food so living things need food and water animals depend upon plant for their food plants make their own food from the water air and sunlight plants can breathe we human in animals birds and plants also breathe living things can breathe like for example fish with the help of their gills they breathe insects the holes in their body with the help of that they breathe living things can also feel we can feel the air that moves around living things can feel and react 
human and animals have sense organs to feel as you know that we have a five sense organ which help us to feel there are eyes ears nose tongue and skin plants can also feel plants can feel the sunlight and helps them to grow so children living things can also feel the weather when it is cold when it is rainy season we come to know living things can reproduce reproducing is a process in which living beings give birth to their young ones for example a cow gives birth to a calf a mother a woman gives birth to a baby a birds lay their eggs from their young ones come out and slowly grow into adults so children seeds become plant and plant changes into big trees so as we say they reproduce let's talk about non living things man made and natural things are non living things a ball a table a toy a car they are man made things the sun the moon and the stone they are natural resources but they are non living things children now let's see human beings like plants animals are living things toys books car furniture and building are non living things living things can move living things grow with the passage of time all living things breathe and reproduce producing young ones of its own kind are called reproduction all living things need food and water to live all living things can feel and react non living things cannot move feel breathe and reproduce a non living thing do not need food and water so children as we had seen about the living things and non living things let's look at this examples look at the picture carefully and answer the questions given beside the picture can the plant grow as we had seen yes plants can grow because it is a living thing can a car breathe no because it is a non living thing can the goat give birth to the young one yes you can see the young one of the goat kid can a cupboard move on its own no children a cupboard cannot move on its own because it is a non living thing Now as we had seen the characters of the living things let's look at the characters of the non living things non living things do not eat for example a book book never eats non living things do not reproduce one pair of t-shirt cannot reproduce another pair of t-shirt non living things do not breathe you can see the statue non living things do not grow a balloon we need to blow it it cannot grow on its own so a non living things do not eat non living things do not breathe non living things do not reproduce non living things do not grow so children today we have learned about the living things and non living things so let me tell you about the living things living things are also known as biotic factors are living organism they are part of the environment for example plants animals and fungi or biotic factors are called as non living things for example air land and metal now let's look at this task does it move on its own does it need water can it eat or make food does it breathe or need air 
does it reproduce or grow can it sense things yes because is this all alive we can move on our own we need water to drink we need food we need to breathe air yes we human being can reproduce and grow living things we also have sense so children as we had seen that today we have learned about living and non living things and we have seen also that living things are also known as biotic factors and non living things are also called as abiotic factors now children we will learn about abiotic and biotic more in our next lesson for now i have a small task for you over here there are things which are living things and non living things natural and man made things now what you need to do is that children there are four columns and there are pictures living things non living things nature and man made things so what you need to do is that look at all this five pictures one is a cloud one is a crab moon tree and mountains so children i'll give you an example of the first one cloud cloud is a living thing so i will write yes cloud is non living thing no it is a living thing so i'll write it is natural or man made so children here you will write yes because it is from the nature so you understood remaining the same way you are supposed to do the other things for now bye take care